Hey everyone, this is the next in the series we call the Smarter Series. And this one's all about using iPhone shortcuts so that you can respond to people who email you requests for information. So occasionally I'll dive into my email inbox and I'll get an email from someone that it requires a block of text that I've already created or that I could create once and use over and over again. In this case, a participant in a conference that I spoke at in Long Beach, California for Entrepreneur Magazine. So you can see here, I created a block of text that I would want to reuse. It has a link to a website, and on that website I put the document, the slide presentation, I put a call-in phone number, I put in some more information so that anybody who emails me from that event, I could give a lot of information quickly. How do I do that? I'm going to go into the settings in the iPhone. This is iPhone 4S, and I'm going to click on the general tab. Now when I get in there, there's a new functionality built in here that I've been a huge fan of on the computer, whether it's PC or Mac, which is text replacement or on the iPhone shortcuts. Now here on the left hand side, you see different shortcuts that when I type in those character strings, they become longer blocks or longer strings of text. So what I would do is I would go back into my email. Now I created this block of text obviously on my computer, emailed it to myself. I'm going to select all of that information and copy it. Once I have that on the clipboard, I'm going to jump back into the settings. I'm going to open up that shortcuts tab and I'm going to create a new shortcut. In this case, I'm going to call it GC for growth conference. So now anytime someone emails me, I'll simply type in the shortcut GC and it will auto replace that long block of text. Now I would only do this if it were transactional information. So if someone were asking me for information that I know I've created, that is quite frankly a, a block of text, a link to a website, a link to a phone number, etc. And I'll just show you how this works. So let's pretend later on today or tomorrow, I'm, I get an email from someone. Now I spoke to 700 people that day, so the chances are high that I'll be able to use this a couple of times. I would create a, e a new email or I'd reply to an email. I put in the two in the subject and there in the body I'll simply type the characters GC and then I'll press the space bar. And what you notice right there is it simply replaced those two characters GC with those dozens of characters in that order. I could type in the character string EM and that would become my email address. Hope you got an idea from this. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do. I hope you enjoyed the Smarter Series.